of Irish people to you? So, uh, hi. hi, Robert uh, um, Truman here, and I'm Eve Sobolova. And uh, before, on this workshop, you had very interesting discussion about the anger. And um, it's a very uh, actual topic because many people have a pattern of exploring, uh, having this part of anger that may make them very destroying and very disruptive because they cannot hold the anger. And, uh, right. Right. So, and the other people really suppress the anger and then uh -huh. have the problems with the health, uh -huh. right? And there is a study was um, conducted by Dr. Mario Martinez, you probably know him, and the study says that a more over the 80% of Tibetan monks have a problem with the health, and this is a di diabetes, because they don't express anger. Of Tibetan monks, is it? Yes. Yeah, that's a false, that's a false uh, oh. result. Uh, they have diabetes because they don't eat the right food. Yes, Not exactly. because they suppress anger. Uh, they, when they, they didn't have much sugar in Tibet. And when they're out where there's cakes and candies and all this kind of sugar-infested Western food, even in India, uh, then they get diabetes from doing that, but not from suppressing anger. That's completely not, all, not true. In fact, they quite well express anger in the sense that they have very forceful debate uh, methods. And uh, they, you know, they would have a discussion where they would debate really vigorously with strong emotion because they believe that you have to use you know, very strong emotional energy with your intellectual explorations in order to come to, to a deep result. So um, Tibetan monks are not into suppressing anger, actually. Very, very much. But, uh, but, but uh, so that's a false uh, causality, is being a false correspondence that, uh, that they're making. Uh, they are bad in their diet, though, and they eat, they eat too much meat and uh, too much white flour, and then they probably, when they can, they gorge on sweets. Mm. And India has plenty of sweets, and mm -hmm. that, that's why they get diabetes. And, um, but the thing about anger that is interesting is it's how you define it. If you define anger as a strong, uh, righteous uh, energy to try to right wrongs and prevent uh, wrongs, either correct them or prevent them, uh, then uh, it can be thought of as a useful energy, motivating, a little bit aggressive, but powerful energy, uh, energy you know, affecting good results. But if you define anger as hatred, where it's an, an emotion that is what I call an addictive emotion, because it seems to make you stronger, mm -hmm. but actually it makes you out of control. Right. And then you even hurt yourself, and you, you don't really write the situation, you usually make it worse, usually. Occasionally you'll luck out and maybe some, some short-term benefit, but then there'll be blowback. So the Buddhist teaching about how to uh, not be carried away by it, but how to take the energy and try to use it in a positive way uh, is very valuable and very, but it's complicated, of course, how to do it. And uh, so that's what I would say about anger. You know? Okay. And uh, Tibetan monks are generally pretty good about that if, as they advance. And in their adolescent years, the way they debate, if you saw them debating, they like, ooh, it's like a dance. Really? It's almost like a martial art. So they have plenty of anger energy in that. And mm -hmm. they, in no way can you, if you understand, know who Tibetan monks are. Uh, you know, I think he must have maybe seen a bunch of monks who thought they were supposed to behave like holy people and they were acting all sanctimonious. But Tibetan monks are very lively, and that's, that's a, not a correct a analysis, in my opinion. Okay, and okay. Uh, the last question, please, very yeah, short sure. one. Um, I have uh, several clients who are struggling with the pattern of expressing anger. Yes. What would be, on your opinion, the most effective way to control, manage the anger? for like, some practice or some practical advice? Uh, well, I think, the, I think uh, there's a wonderful book by a woman named Carol Tavris that mm -hmm. I would recommend called Anger, the Misunderstood Emotion. She's a Western psychologist, nothing to do with Buddhism, where she indicates this idea of like venting anger as a way of being helpful. She considers that not the case. She calls it the hydraulic theory of anger. You mm -hmm. have to release the pressure. And a little bit that's so, but in a way, if you go and pound a pillow or do some martial arts training and hit a post, you know, you're, you're, you're venting a certain energy, but you're, you know, you're not angry at the post and you're not angry at the pillow. So it isn't the real hatred of some oppressing being. Right. So when you're oppressed by a being, you know, you should pay attention to that fact and you should leave, you should, do, you should learn to react more quickly before you lose it and get hurt and become out of control. And um, the 
But the first level of getting rid of any addiction is to realize that letting yourself be carried away by anger, hatred, rage, fury type of thing is always harmful. Yes. It's like heroin is always bad because it doesn't let you go, you know, and it doesn't mm -hmm. get you anywhere really. It, it just gives you temporary relief and then you need more and it's harmful to your health. So anger and cortisol is bad for the circulatory system. I mean, there are many studies that show right. when you lose control of yourself, you, you lose 85% of your good judgment of the situation and you won't get very far with it. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, just suppressing it also will make you ill. So what you have to do is learn to avoid the situation. You have to study it, you have to examine it, you have to find the roots of it and try to use that kind of energy creatively and stay away from the bad people who harm you. Don't let them catch you. Uh, where are you from? You have an accent. I'm Russian. You're Russian? Oh, very good. Спасибо. Thank you Спасибо. so much. До свидания. До свидания. Yes.